after the rather lengthy stats specification video uh, time to uh, breathe for a second take stock and have a look at what we've done uh, this one is, is for reference really and just so you know how to check that your statistics design is okay uh, see what regressors have been put in and check that the timing is correct once you've specified the first level statistics you can now estimate them but it's always a good idea to check that you've done everything correctly when you set up the stats by default it shows you the design matrix which we'll um, look at now um, you can see we have uh, the images time going down the y-axis here and the first image for the first participant then the first image for the second participant going through all five participants and for each participant we have the four uh, conditions or regressors faces scrambled objects places and you can see where faces is off the first block and it comes on again then faces is off and faces comes on again a total of four times note you do not have uh, a single regressor for all participants faces condition it's a separate regressor for each of those we can take a look at one of those now so if we click on the review button and select where we told it to put the spm.mat file it comes up with the same um, summary but we can now explore for each of the five sessions, that's the five different participants, um, we can see how each of the condition, four conditions or regressors is specified. So we've used the canonical hemodynamic response function, um, that is um, a peak in uh, bold that comes up about five, so seconds after uh, the change in neural activity and then it descends and undershoots and returns to baseline after about 30 seconds and that's convolved with part of square wave boxcar function to give this kind of effect and you can see this is the model that's going to try to fit to the time course of every voxel um, by adjusting the beta the height of it and uh, an uninteresting uh, constant and we can see the four peaks corresponding to the four um, times when the face block came on. Now you have thoroughly reviewed and checked your statistical design, you're ready to get SBM to apply it to your data. That's coming up next.